This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. Today we're going to have fun with Dimension Dialog Boxes. What in the world are all those little controls that's in the Dimension Dialog Box? Well, I think it's about time to find out. So if I double click on a Dimension, I get the Dimension Dialog Box up. Well, it comes up highlighted with the number, which the, is the actual dimension that's there. If I want to change it, of course, just punch in a number and hit enter, and it changes and dismisses the dialog box. Well, great. Sometimes, though, that's not what you want to do. Sometimes you want to use the spin box. Now, this is the spin box over here. It's a Windows thing. All Windows programs have these in various places where you have choices. If I click the up arrow, this is changing. You can see it's changing by 100,000 every iteration. Every time I click the button, it's changing by 100,000. Well, you know, that's great, except maybe I need this to change by one inch increments. Now, that spin box is set in the options dialog. Let me show you where that is, and I'll come right back to this. Options, spin box increments, it's set right here. 100,000 is the default for English units. 10 millimeters is actually the default for millimeters. I have mine set to 1. 100,000 is the English default, and that's what I'm using here right now. If I double click here, this is going to change by 100,000 each iteration. Maybe I want to change that by 1 inch increments. If I click this little box here, this lets me change it. I can put in like a 1 inch and just hit enter. 1 inch, 1 inch. Oh, wait a minute, that's too much. Let's do half inch. 0.5, enter and now let's back up half an inch up half an inch down half an inch down etc so any then all I have to do is I can go back to 100 thou anytime I want let's go back to 0.1 so it makes it very easy to change how this box is changing in this top row here a couple of other things here that is of interest of course we got the green check mark that's the okay and the red X get out of here let's forget what I'm doing the rebuild button here. Now the rebuild button's nice. I can punch in a number here. Let's say three. I can hit rebuild and it'll change my dimension and in my sketch but it will not dismiss my box. And sometimes that's very important. If you can't use the spin box to get where you need to go, sometimes you've got to punch in a number. If you hit enter, oh no, it dismisses the box. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so the green stoplight here, the regenerate uh, button, lets us change that without dismissing our box. Now this one, most everybody knows what that is. It reverses the sense of the dimension. So if you got a dimension that you put on and it's going the wrong direction, you can click this little box here and it sends it the other way. Click. What's this one? Everybody has ignored this ever since it came out pretty much. Mark dimension to be imported into a drawing. That is on by default. Almost nobody turns that off for any reason. If you don't want a dimension in a drawing, you just shut it off. This is the name of this dimension. When I click on this, if I go to my property manager without this dialog box being open, it's the same name, D1 at sketch 1. If you're using this dimension in an equation or as a column heading uh, in a design table or something like that, D1 at sketch 1 doesn't mean anything to anybody. Maybe you want to rename that and I can just select over it here and rename it and just click away. Now if you notice, at sketch 1 never goes away. Whatever I put change the name to in the first place is there. At sketch one doesn't go away. If I hover over it, now it says rename it at sketch one. If I double click here and get my dialog up, rename it at sketch one. How about line length at sketch one? Sketch one doesn't go away. Even though I don't see it, it's still there. If I rename sketch one, in my feature tree, then it will change here also. So that's very nice. And then I can turn on, I can turn on these dimension names so I can see what the dimension names mean and what they are if I'm going to be doing equations, things like that. Don't need to see that right now. I just wanted to point that out. This little thing down here at the bottom is a thumb wheel. I can grab that and I can move this by quite a lot, one way or the other. Pin box increment to like one inch then man I can really change this quick and if you notice there what I just did by accident I sent it the wrong way so I can even send this the opposite way the same as if I picked the uh, reverse arrow it's been there for a lot of years and most people have no idea what that is. So thumb wheel in conjunction with changing the increment value of your spin box let's go back to 100,000 up, down, 
thumb wheel. We can we can do all kinds of interesting little things here with the uh, modify dialog box here for dimensions. I hope this clears up some of the mysteries that you may have had for this. I'm Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Hope you're having a great day. Mm -hmm.